Hello everybody, welcome back to an all new Communist in America um, side video. Let me go into this a little later. Um, if you missed this video, when I start the live stream at 5. Um, but also, we will be changing the title from Communist in, a, in America to Fight the Communist in America. I figured I'd change the title so I can attract more conservatives than anything. So, yeah. So, here we go. Um, there's this video about pedophilia, and I need to show you, and then we'll go into our discussion. I don't begrudge researchers or heck even vice interviewing pedophiles to find out what makes them tick. I think that's perfectly valid science, perfectly valid journalism. However, what I find concerning, to say the least, is that as pedophilia becomes a more and more popular topic, a lot of the materials that I'm seeing seem to be focused almost entirely on improving the lives of pedophiles with very little regard, if any, to the well-being and security of children. And granted, as Vice notes, since not all pedophiles actually act out on their perverted urges, those two things, the happiness of pedophiles and the safety of children, they're not always necessarily in direct conflict with each other, okay? It's not always either or. I understand that, but I think one area where they absolutely are in conflict is when it comes to the need to report potential threats to the police. You see, in the U.S., it is the law that if a therapist believes one of their patients is going to be a threat to someone else, or even themselves actually, they have to tell the cops. And this law exists because, well, I mean, I, I feel like I don't, I don't even need to explain why. It's so they don't hurt anyone else or themselves. So yes, if a therapist does believe that one of their patients, A, is a pedophile, and B, is not only sexually attracted to children, but is likely to molest children, then yes, they have to go to the police. And you know what? I've not really heard many people complain about this law because it seems pretty self-explanatory to protect the children. But here we go. Here's Vice. They're complaining about it. You don't believe me? Here's some more. They continue, quote, Elizabeth Letourneau, director of the Moore Center for the Prevention of Child Sex Abuse, is one of the few researchers in the U.S. focusing on preventative measures to help pedophiles. Even if you've never offended, if you are sexually interested in children and you reach out to a therapist for help, they may decide that you still represent a threat, Letourneau said, and that their concerns meet the threshold for a mandatory report. That's not the case in Germany, where Project Dunkelfeld in Berlin is one of the only places in the world that offers treatment for pedophiles. And I know what some of you guys may be thinking. Well, it's kind of strange that they're seemingly against therapists going to the police if they believe someone is going to be a threat to children. But I mean, overall, it seems like they're really interested in treating pedophiles. It's not like they're trying to destigmatize pedophilia or anything. Except actually, no, they are literally trying to destigmatize it. And that's not just me being hyperbolic. Those are their exact words. As Vice writes, quote, another objective of Project Dunkelfeld is to destigmatize pedophilia. Dr. Klaus Beer, who created the program, argues pedophilia is a sexual orientation and not a crime if the person has not acted on it. And what's so concerning about all of this is that this is not the first time we've seen a mainstream media establishment go to bat for pedophiles. Salon also infamously wrote about the plight of the virtuous pedophile. Someone called Todd Nickerson, remember that name, and on the show we've previously done a segment on the documentary I Pedophile, which is currently being streamed by Amazon, and which paints a very sympathetic picture of poor, poor, oppressed pedophiles. On this show, when we've talked about pedophilia before, I've always drawn a distinction between pedophiles who do and do not offend against children. Even so, though, I've always maintained that just as an affliction, as a disorder, pedophilia in and of itself is still disgusting and reprehensible. To which I've had a surprising, a worrying number of people say, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just because you're sexually attracted to children, that doesn't mean you're actually going to hurt them. So why stigmatize the attraction itself? There's nothing wrong with just 
thoughts. That type of thinking is exactly how slippery slopes happen. And I am fully convinced at this point that pedophilia will be the next slippery slope our society tumbles down. In fact, as we've seen, it's already starting. Like it or not, we are living in a world where nearly every single slippery slope that people tried to warn us about, which a lot of us, myself included, initially dismissed, has come to fruition. Right now, our culture is not only accepting, but actually celebrating children dressing up in drag and pumping themselves full of hormones in order to change their gender. And not only that, but we're too afraid to crack down on child marriages because we don't want to seem racist. So don't tell me it'll never happen, pedophilia will never be mainstream, because I don't believe you. I've seen the depravity we're capable of, and I have lost any faith or goodwill in our culture's ability to turn away from degeneracy. Is that crazy or what? Literally, I do not think we should be doing that type of stuff because it's just wrong. Literally wrong. And I do not know why anyone could do pedophilia but is a mental illness that should be t not taken lightly, like she was saying in there. It's just stupid that people want to to actually support it too. Um, lately, there's been pushes of um, people liberals wanting pedophilia to be illegal. It didn't say that in the video, but this is well back. And I don't know if they're still doing it or not, but it's getting really, really stupid that that's happening. Literally, our children are in danger with this type of stuff. So we have to think um, about everything. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe people would try to do that. Literally, it makes no sense. And that's what I don't like about pedophiles. Um, it's just gotten crazy with them. People trying to make it legal and all that stuff. That's sick. It's just wrong. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. Um, pro probably sorry for dragging this on at the end. I just don't know what to say because I'm really worried about stuff like this. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, please like, share, subscribe. And hit that bell uh, beside the notification, um, besides the subscri subscribe button. And click all, and you'll be uploaded. You'll be um, updated every time I upload a new video. Thank you. This is Brad McDonald signing out, and I'll see you, Patreon.